Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about My Hero Academia, season number four, episode number four, Fighting Fate. In this episode here, you have Deco, you have um, Tagoda, or aka Lemillion, on patrol. They have been assigned to be on patrol by a certain night eye. All they put to do is go on patrol. And if they run across the bad guy overhaul, report back to him, and that's it. I'm supposed to get involved, I'm supposed to be no fighting, nothing like that. And now you're starting to see why a little bit why Lebillion was, sh was was chosen by Night Eye to be the hero, to be the one who was to get off of one. And you're also seeing Deco. Because see, it, they're going on patrol, the million is having a nice conversation, everything's going good, people recognize them as heroes and everything like that. Everything's fine, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden, this little girl runs out and then she runs right into Deco and she falls down. And Deco goes to reach down and help her out and see if she's okay and she flinches and she's scared. And so Deco knows something's wrong. You know, so every instinct in him tells that, oh, there's something wrong, there's something wrong, something wrong, something wrong. And then all of a sudden, Overhaul comes out. And, and Deco is freaking out. And now the thing is, though, his facial expression changes really fast because he knows he's the bad guy. But Lemillion stays calm. He knows he's the bad guy, too. He knows he's, he, he put the, he put the report back to the, so, but, he, but the thing is though, he can't show on his face that he knows who he is. And he also can't make this guy get upset or get, uh, get tense because he might attack, he might kill somebody, he might cause a lot of damage, he might hurt the girl. So he's coming in all nice to comments down, oh, how you doing, buddy? And you see in Deco, how Deco responding with, with panic on his face, and then the million slowly covers his face up with the mask. This is because the thing is, though, he's giving off the impression that he knows what's going on, which is something Lemillion doesn't want to have make it happen. Now, Lemillion is willing to let the girl go, so he before before the, the, the night eye. But Deku, being Deku, he wants to get involved right then and there. He started asking questions, and you, you see Lemillion here thinking, like, dude, let this go, let this, let this go. This is not the time. This is not the time for this. This is not what people supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be, go on patrol, and we we'll report. That's it. We're not going to get involved. We're not going to. I know it's bad. I know it's messed up. But let this go. But Deco, he said he he got this eagerness to, to jump right in and start fighting, and and, and so and you and you. And, and, his impulses, even though he has good intentions, and he, his heart is in the right place, but that could cause more damage than he's supposed to do. He, 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 can, he can get himself hurt in the, in the process, and you also, he also can get, and it's the bystanders is hurt in the process as well. So you got, you got two people, different different stages on, on becoming a hero, and they're seeing their approaches to it. Which one's right, which one's wrong? Maybe debatable. Is the Lemillion right for letting, letting this go, even though the girl is is, is in danger and, and being you know, scared of the guy who she's with, who's supposed to be her father? Or it should be like Deco, just charge right on in, just start fighting, and, and save the girl, and then let it go. Yeah. And so you're seeing that struggle going on there, too. You also get another back, you also get a backstory on um, All Might and, and Night Eye on why they split up in the first place and why he's why not, 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 not psychic psych psych anymore. Y'all you know, find out from the incident where, where um, where, um, um, all my got hurt real bad, and then that so night I come saying you should retire. Do you should retire? You're a badly hurt. Let somebody else take the place. Yeah, it might be a little messed up for now. I mean, a little messed up from right now. But another hero will step up. You going out there is not really helping anybody. You going all you do is get yourself hurt, and then somebody else might, in the process you might not be able to save somebody, and somebody else is going to get hurt in the process too. But but all my was going to say nope, I got to do this. I'm the symbol of peace. If I go down, things will be chaos. So I have to keep keep pushing myself forward. And so now, so now I said to do it. If you're going to get, you're going to do this, you, you go do it on your own. And then right from then, they separated. And they separate even more because all might get the, get the um, offer one to Deku and not Lemillion, who the per, who the night I see as the person who should have been the hero. And and and, and, and when, you, when, you, when, you, when you look at it, and when you really look at the two heroes, I mean Deku and Lemillion. I can, I can, I can, I'm really starting to see why Lemillion should have been the one. Yeah. And I like that go. I really do like that go. But Lemillion has this way about him. This, this, um, and like I said, he's not as smart, he's not as smart as that go. I mean, he's smart. He's not dumb. But it's just that he knows how to, he, he, Lemillion knows how to act when things are tense. He knows how to respond to certain things and let other things escalate. He tried to calm the situation down and, sh and show that everything was okay. Even though he knows what, what's going on, he knows how to deal with it more. And he'd rather come up with a plan first than just, 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 just attack. And with Deco, he's all impulse. He's so young. He, he, he said, bad, bad things, bad things going down right now. Girls in trouble right now. Gotta stop it. 
And that's pretty much, that was also part of the reason why um, um, All Might got hurt in the first place. Which also um, made um, um, All Might and Sir Nerd and Light Eyes split up, split up as well. But overall, I think this was a really good episode right here. Very intense. I'm like, I'm liking seeing Deku actually learn something that maybe just jumping in is not the right way, right, 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 the right way to go. And even though, yeah, we also get a little more about, we also see um, Uri in, in action. Well, not, we see her in action, but we see her, we get the, 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 the introduction to her, which is a very interesting character. We don't, I, I don't know what her power is, what her quirk is just yet. And and and, and, and why um, overall has her, but this, this scene of Deku and a million in action, how they handle a situation, and how they and how the million guys put on a brave face, like nothing's going on, and a smile on his face, like everything's good, even though he knows things are going bad, and see how Deco responds to it. Very interesting, very interesting. And also got me. It also, it also got a little bit more of um, a backstory when um Deco and um and, and all my had their conversation between one another on why he he thought that the million should have been um um should have been picked in the first place, and how that happened, and how you got and how you got the Deco instead. Because if he did, because the thing is though, if he never met Deku, the million would have got it. And since he already has the quirk in the first place, that would have been interesting. I mean, I thought that'd be a good way to, to find out about it. like what, because with his powers that he has, and then all adding on the on the awful one power as well, he would have been a very powerful individual. And with his attitude and his upbeatness and his, and his cheerfulness and the way he inspires people to be with a smile on his face, wow. He would have. He would have been actually a great choice. Yeah. Over overall, I really did enjoy this episode a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of, of My Hero Academia. And if you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hope when you watch it, you will enjoy having watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shoop, boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate, it, like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.